I'm wondering if today would be a good day. You got people telling me to keep a shirt on. I'm scaring the babies. But other than that, what is going on today in my mind? What am I thinking about? I'm thinking about my stomach. I'm having a stomach pain. Last time I had pain like this, I had a gastrointestinal infection. I was in the hospital for a week. I was telling you that grease from the McDonald's burger built up in my stomach, but I haven't been eating like that lately. The pain is so bad. You just gotta sit down sometimes. But other than that, I feel fit. I'm looking handsome as ever. Okay. I look better than I did last week. Just keep it real. So, um, what's really going on? Um, oh, about five months ago, when I was first losing websites and all that crap, I went and got some information. And um, on the way back from getting that information, I walked by my old job. And the man said, you know, man, you've been on the payroll like in 17 years and I'm like yeah so what I don't you know I put in probably about 40 hours a year for these people it's nothing dude told me I could retire I shit you not and, and I'm laughing I'm like yeah right so I told him go ahead and put in the retirement papers for me no problem so funny because the other day I was just, you know, bullshitting and I got a letter in the mail. My retirement was accepted. And I'm like, okay. And I didn't believe it. And I still don't believe it. I got a letter yesterday saying that my first retirement payment will be coming within the next 30 days. So that's funny. I'm 40 years old, 41 years old, and I'm retired. I didn't even ask how much the retirement money is. I only work like 40 hours a year for these people. How much retirement could you get when you only work 40 hours a year for a company? And you've been there for 17 years. Plus, will I be able to go back to work next month? Or, or you know, would, would they be able to spot call me like they used to? Nah, who cares? So I figured it out yesterday, sat down and devised a little plan. I'm going to take whatever retirement money this is they give me. I'm going to redo a new website. I'm going to start going through that whole crap again. So within the next 30 days, hopefully, if there's... What are you going to give me? Like $40 a month? Take it. Whatever. So what I want to do pretty much is have this little retirement shit take care of all my little website stuff. And I'm going to sit back and I'm going to try to write a book. Right now, I'm going to ask the people who watch me. I'm going to ask the people who watch me um, to um, pick out certain videos that they like. And then I'm going to remove those videos. Not off the internet, but I'm going to remove them and put them in movie form. And then I'm going to release it on another website. Um... I want you to get the combination of videos that you like and if this combination if I see it more than once um, or if I see videos chosen you know more than once then those will pretty much have to be you know the main staple of this project or this is what I like about YouTube I want those people out there who watch my videos to put my videos together in a montage the way you want them to and present them to me um, I don't know if you have to send me a link so I can download your project or how that will work but if your project is clean if it makes sense because you know if you string a bunch of my videos together, if you put six of my videos together that's an hour one hour and if it don't sound right for an hour it won't sound right if somebody else listen to it but if it sounds good to you 
all the videos fit, then you put together a puzzle. Let's see how many other people can see it like you do. Um, for those who want me to try to do it, can you list the videos and uh, you tell me which order they're supposed to fall in and when I get around to finding them, I don't know if I downloaded all of them, to put them in order for you and then I will find a website to put them up. Um, this project is, I'm going to find a name for it in a couple of days, but this project is going to be serious because if any of these uh, so-called little small movies that you create with my videos are worth anything, and I will go ahead and see if I can sell them and give all the proceeds to charity. As broke as I may be, I'm smart enough to know when you give other people an opportunity that makes opportunities for yourself open up. If I can take a string of these videos and put some food in somebody's belly, then so be it. If we can put together a package and sell it on a serious level, then we can make some money for a lot of people. If I was in this for myself, I'd probably already have what people believe I should already be worth. Maybe that's my problem. Some of us black people think about helping others before we think about helping ourselves. And in that process, we lose those around us who need the help. You understand what I'm saying? So, whatever becomes of whatever situation that I'm falling in next, the opportunity is yours. You write the book of Zoe, and I'll make sure it tries to get published. It tries to get published. If you write the book of Zoe, and I'll make sure we'll put it out someplace. We'll make sure it gets published. I got my publishing ID. I got my Google publisher ID shit. So maybe I'll just go to Google Video and have Google do it. Whatever we do, it's a project that is ours. My words that I put up here on YouTube are for all people to use. Whether you like me or not, whether you take my words out of context or not, my whole purpose of doing this is to help people other than myself, because that is the true essence of man. And um, I did a little video yesterday, and a young man told me that black man raised his uh, three daughters and son by himself. And I tried to point it out. That that black man learned compassion and love from somebody. That black man, he said he raised four great kids. And I'm pretty sure he did. But that black man learned how to do that. He, he knows that these are my kids and ain't nobody else doing nothing for them. I have to be their mother, their father, their rock their island, their roof, their spaceship, their parachute. I have to be everything for my kids. And that is a true man. I said it. I like when I say I said it. A lot of people don't like when I say I said it, but I said it. And what I mean by most men only teach hate is because most people don't have a father that goes to work every day, brings home the bacon. And those who do have a father, some of them have fathers that go to work and then they never see their kids until the dad is retired. So there's a lot of men out there who are doing the right thing, but the kids aren't getting any nourishment. The man that you mentioned in that statement, he is the nourishment. He's the tree that the family will branch from. You didn't mention the baby mama. She could be sitting at home. He could be taking care of five kids at home. But all I know is I got 40 seconds left. So I'm not going to talk about a comment left on the bottom of the page of a video. Now if you notice, when the video is pretty good to me, I go back. And if any comment makes me think, then I comment on the comment. But this will not be linked to that video. Because this video ain't about that one. This video right here is about what I'm going to do with my retirement. 41 years old. I'm out of shape. <clears throat> Pretty. Oh, I look better than I did last week, so 